Hi there. Um, I've been meaning to make this video about the difference between ENFPs and ENTPs and especially as to why um, ENTPs have a particular difficulty in getting themselves organized. Now, both ENFPs are, and ENTPs are prone to scattered brainness, procrastination, over-optimism, uh, lack of unwillingness to commit and, uh, uh, you know, focus on one thing and okay, distractibility. Okay. But uh, still, ENFPs seem to manage to get their act together uh, more easily uh, and more often than do ENTPs. And ENTPs have now developed this reputation of being um, iconoclasts, yes, but also um, rule breakers or rule defiers. Why, why is this way? It's because of their stack. Okay, I want to show you the stack for a second and um, let's see. this is the cognitive stack. Okay, can you see this? All right, so if you see here the ENFP, I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, this is, both of them have this distractibility. The hero is essentially NE, which is keeps all the possibilities open and refuses to um, narrow down on anything. NE is keeping uh, the all the possible ideas and uh, roots open, okay, in the mental space. Don't worry about this for now. Let's talk about this, okay, TE. TE is the one function in the entire stack that tells you how to create a plan and a systematic plan and follow it in a step-by-step -step way and take action. Now, FE also takes action, but in an unsystematic way. It's haphazard, but it takes action and it takes timely action, but it's unsystematic. TE is the planner. It, it's the one that makes checklists and uh, pins up and, and has timetables. Now, um, if you see for uh, both ENFP and ENTP, the NE is common, which is why both are distractible and given to keeping all their options open and thinking that they can still wing it at the last minute. But uh, the ENFP's TE helps the ENFP to kind of realize that, you know, they have to plan. Uh, they are inconsistent. It's the eternal child position. So it has good intentions. It wants to do the right thing, but it is inconsistent and it only works sometimes. So when the ENFP is uh, motivated and is all charged up and they can um, uh, get themselves organized and follow the plan that they've made. ENFPs are not incapable of following a plan or sticking to a timetable. It won't last very long, but it gets them through a lot of stuff so they're not they're okay they can function in within systems but ENTPs if you see have no TE anywhere on their conscious stack uh, instead they have FE which is okay which just makes them more compassionate FE is a compassionate function it's more harmony driven so they make friends easier they uh, are uh, more uh, cooperative in groups um, in their among their friends and in society they behave themselves in some sense, right? They follow social norms of behavior, um, but not action. They can't plan. There's no, no, no place where there's any planning, any T-I-F-E-S-I. -E Where's the planning? There's no planning. T-E is just not there. So the ENTP has a really hard time keeping many instructions in their minds and or laying them down one by one and following a process or creating a plan for themselves or sticking to it or taking action in the here and now, um, that's very difficult for them. And I think that is something that, in fact, is, if, if you look further, and I've not shown that here, um, the, the TE for ENTPs actually comes in the um, seventh position. Um, no, sorry, sixth position. And uh, it's a... Uh, difficult place or placement for TE. It's in the subconscious area and it is what makes them feel bad about themselves. It makes them feel horrible about themselves. Like, why can't I get organized? And they get frustrated and their internal mind criticizes them about it all the time, but they can't really do much about it. And it takes many, many, many years of training and hurting and really, really hurting before they can plan. And even then it's only so good. So, uh, generally ENTPs if they want to be organized it is better if they have someone around them who can keep them organized